Inefficiencies in the way that you manage your information compound over your career. Think about all the time wasted looking for documents or searching for a note on an idea that you had, or maybe trying to make sense of scattered notes across a range of tools. Over the years, this adds up to an extraordinary amount of wasted time. This is where Tana comes in. Tana is a powerful note-taking application that allows you to manage, work with, and make sense of a large amount of information quickly. In this video, I'm hoping to give you a little bit of a glimpse of why Tana is so powerful and hopefully convince you to give it a try. The problem is twofold though. First, you actually need to commit to change before you even consider using another tool. Because let's be honest, there's already enough on your plates. Your daily demands are crazy. Business as usual takes up so much of your time. You don't have the time to invest in improving your system. But this becomes self-defeating. If you never invest the time, you're never going to create the free time or the capacity to actually take a step back. But if you are committed to change, maybe you have heard about Tana, or maybe you just found this because you are looking at improving your note-taking systems or the way that you manage your work. Your first thought might be shiny new tool syndrome, or this is too technical for me, or this is only suitable for tech people who spend more time organizing than actually doing the work. I'm here to convince you otherwise, because I think that Tana presents a step change in these note-taking applications. The high-level summary is that it brings the power of complex linked note-taking tools like Obsidian and LogSeq into the hands of the average user with an excellent user interface. And it mostly works out the box. Now there are some caveats to that, but you don't need to have plugins to go and build the correct workflows. This easy user experience makes it accessible to a broader audience, which means that more people are able to access these powerful features and simplify their work life. This means reducing the administrative overhead of knowledge work and actually getting work done. And diving in, the four aspects that I'm going to look at today Firstly, it's this powerful note-taking technology, and I'm gonna get into exactly what it is. Speed of information capture, powerful integrations and features for advanced users, and then flexible and highly customizable. The powerful technology that I'm talking about is object-based note-taking, and you might've seen that before, but what the heck does it mean? It sounds very technical. Let's conceptualize a smart digital filing system. And I want you to imagine your notes as objects in a digital universe that are all connected to one another. So some examples of these, projects meetings, tasks, people. These are all different objects. And these are defined with your super tags. This is something that you might have seen in the Tana lingo. And these are just your entities in your workspace. Now, I can go and then create these different super tags. And the equivalent of creating a super tag and then tagging an item is saying, this belongs in this database. So it's not a concept, as you might be familiar with other tags. It's saying this is this type of entity. And this is from the Tana documentation here, which is a good way to check if a super tag is right, is thinking is a when adding a tag to a node. So this is a person. This is a task. Okay, so that's the first part of this object-based note-taking. What are the objects themselves? The second component here is that your objects typically have standard information in them and relationships between them. So what do I mean by that? A project has got objectives, it's got a status, it's got next steps, client. Meeting has attendees, so that links to persons. It's got dates, dates are actually a separate entity in Tana as well. It's got related project, so project link, agenda, action items, that's linked to task, and then a task has related projects, so I can link it to project. It's got a due date, it's got the person responsible, so I can link it to person, it's got a priority. So let's call this the additional data relationships or context. It's quite broad. And this is defined with fields. And fields are used as fine spaces to add further context to information. So as I say here, you can also link objects together in the fields to build this like rich network of information. And the magic of super tags is that when I add a super tag to an object, I have templates essentially that are automatically populated for that object so that I can go and populate those fields. So that's point number two. Point number three is that when you're working, you want to be able to resurface information quickly in the appropriate context. And so you need features which show you what is related to that object. And this is your references, your search nodes, and your related content. Now, references are built into every node. So if I go to this, what's so special about Tana node, if I just scroll to the bottom here, you can see there that I have references. And this is in every single node, you can find these references. Search node are custom queries that you can build to surface the relevant information. It's like throwing a net over your information and filtering it. And then related content is an interface feature which allows you to display queries 
as a separate panel overlay. I'm gonna show you this now. A big part of this paradigm is information flows to where it's useful. It's not so important where I enter the information necessarily, but only that I'm able to retrieve it. So this video you can see here, I've put it in today's node, that's its home, but it doesn't matter because I can resurface it because it's got video. But I'm already getting into the weeds here. Let's get back to a demo. So the point of the departure is the super tag page. And this basically aggregates all the different things that have been tagged with project. Okay, so the one that I wanna look at here is the logistics optimization project. And what I can see here is the fields which specify the additional data. And I can see that this project relates to mining co-organization. I've got an overview here and I can you know, add those points there in the outline or I can add anything here that I want. So for instance, documentation, you can add links to project briefs and Google Sheets and all the stuff in there. And yeah, next steps, I could do that in the fields. I could do that as in just a general outline. There's so many different ways to do things. And this is why I say, it does work out the box, but there is a matter of personal preference in terms of how you set things up. And this, what you see on the right here, is what I was talking about, the related content. So I want to be able to see the different related tasks for this project. Now again, to that caveat, this related content is very customizable and I have set this up myself. It's not quite available out the box yet, but we'll speak more to that later. And I see here that I've got a link to Joe Soap. This is a reference node. So if I go to Joe Soap, I can see his company is Tana and get his email address. I can see all the different things that he's mentioned in. And I also have a bunch of different things that are opened now for Joe Soap. Discussion points. What does this mean? It means that I've added an item. Let's just quickly look at there, which is discuss latest pricing proposal. And this relates to Joe Soap. So that when I go to Joe Soap's page, I can see all the things that are related to him. I can see things that I've delegated to him. I can see meetings that we've had, a whole bunch of information that is very easily accessible because all these different objects are so well linked. Why does this matter? Instead of doing things in a scattered way, Tana gives your notes structure and builds in context by default. Everything is built into a unified workspace. Everything is available in one place and that turns your disconnected notes into a smart, accessible system. It also enables you to make sense of and navigate multiple levels of information quickly. So you can zoom up, zoom down, navigate between different parts of a project, for instance. Everything is in an outline. This also drastically improves the speed of work through information retrieval. So if I navigate to the person, I can see all the different things that are related to them. And you can build these things in as you go. So if you're managing a project, you don't need to dig around to find the related tasks or whatever. It's all available in one place. And most importantly, you stop losing information. So to summarize this object-based note-taking, you have objects that you can enter information in your objects and define relationships between your objects and build additional context. And you can also very quickly resurface this in your interface. The second point that I wanna make here is the speed of information capture. And now a key aspect of note-taking is getting information from your brain into a trusted place quickly. And ideally you want to reduce the friction of that as much as possible. And Tana are doing this predominantly through a voice-driven approach to work. You can transcribe voice memos from the mobile app and it is super quick and the transcriptions are excellent. There's also a global desktop shortcuts to record information. So if I say control shift E, if I just bring up the little button here, it's actually recording what I'm saying and when I press stop, it's gonna come up on the right there and I can transcribe that automatically. Now, there are workflows around this and different ways of setting this up, but that's getting into the weeds. The other thing here is audio enhanced fields. So one thing that I really like is my email reply. When I get an email, I'll copy the person's email into here and then I'll just do this audio recording once that goes red. And there we go, it's working. And then there's also some AI that I've built here that I can quickly prompt an output email and then Bob's your uncle, very quick emails. And they're also focusing on building custom voice first workflows. So what I'm doing there might soon become something that's built into the app, I don't know, but for now this works very well for me. The second thing is a daily note first approach. And this is something that's come in with a new set of tools like Roam and LogSeq where you always have a place to enter your information. And this reduces the friction of thinking, where do I put this? And it builds workflows around retrieval rather than location. So another thing I can do here is I can say shift click on this, and this shows a 
inline reference that I've now expanded. And the way that I like to think about it is as this daily journal. Like remember your hardcover daily journal that you used to have on your desk, you put your appointments in, you could just scratch random things. This is how I think about the daily notes approach. And it just reduces the friction of getting information in. Then you also have quick capture workflows. So you need to enter something quickly into your workspace. If I just say control E, add this task, hashtag task, scroll down quickly, add a due date, and let's make it for tomorrow. Control E, and it's in my workspace. And it'll be resurfaced when I need it because of the different searches that I've got set up. The next one here is similar to the voice-driven approach, but it is the Tana meeting agent. So Tana has got a little bot that you can add to your meetings, which does automatic transcription and summarization of your meeting notes. It's a really nifty little tool and has saved me a lot of time already just in terms of going back through old notes. Another thing here is working in multiple places at once. And you can already see here that I've got a panel opened up on the right. I can open another panel up on the right and for me, and then close this panel. And I can also open this panel up on the top. And for me, the real win is being able to like drag and drop little nodes of information between different places. It's been a major boost to my workflow over the last few years whilst I've been using Outliners. I love having multiple windows essentially within a window. So all of these are really geared around getting information quickly into your workspace so that you don't have to worry about the means of entering things in. And then you can always resurface that information through your tags or through your linked references. The third thing I want to look at is the powerful integrations and features for advanced users. Now, it's not necessarily that these are only for advanced users, but anyways. Tana has a native Google Calendar integration. As I said, no plugins required and an Outlook integration is in the works. There's unfortunately only one way in the sense that it comes from Google into Tana, but it's still great. So for instance, if I go to my today node, I can see my tasks, but there we go. I can see that I've got an event tonight, which I need to go to. There's also a Readwise integration. So all your reading highlights will come into Tana if you set that up. There's a fully integrated mobile app. As of this recording, the iOS one is available, but the Android one is coming very soon. There's a keyboard driven command interface. I can say control K and do many things from the command line. So I can say find nodes, many different things that I can do. I can also go and build my own custom commands. And this is very powerful for advanced users. Admittedly, I don't use this very much, but it, to know that it's available when you need to do bulk type functions, very powerful. There's also comprehensive native AI integrations included in your subscription. This covers stuff like your transcriptions but, and that automatic populating of fields that I showed, but you can also chat with your data. And if I just do this here and I go to a node, I say, I can chat about that data or I can ask a question, what is the capital of Norway? Because that is where Tano is made. And there we go. So maybe you can cancel your ChatGPT subscription. Finally, Point number four, and this is where things might go off the rails because Tana is flexible and highly customizable. Tana is basically a platform tool. Any digital app that you work with is essentially a database with an interface. And Tana provides the building blocks that allow you to build your own custom workflows or essentially your own apps in your workspace. And you can build your own internal applications. So the Tana team uses for everything. And you can think how this might replace a slew of other tools. So your recruiting tools, your time management tools, OKR, product management, et cetera. There's a whole bunch of things that you can do. So if you're familiar with a tool like Notion, you'll recognize this power in a tool that provides you with the building blocks. So the downside of this is that it may lead to some complexity because flexibility just means that people often introduce complexity. And this is also why there is a template ecosystem so that you can leverage the workflows that others have built. This is a bit of a shameless plug. I've got a template available which breaks down my different workflows and I've made other videos on that, but I've since updated that template, you can access it in the link below and there might be a discount depending on when you watch this. And the final thing here is that Tana will be putting a lot of work into making it easier for new users to get up to speed when working in Tana. So in summary, Tana brings together the power of databases, the flexibility of spreadsheets, and the detail of documents all into a single interface. Now, it's not all of these things in one, but you get the power of these different things to a large degree in one single interface. Admittedly, there is a steep learning curve, but once it clicks, I don't think there's any going back. I don't want this to become a plug for the course or whatever, but have a look below if you're interested in finding out more. 
And the final thing that I want to say is I love what I see on the Tana pricing page, which is buy back your time. For me, this speaks to the point that I made earlier, which is that we need to invest in our systems to improve our systems in order to actually get that time back. Otherwise, the chaos will always be there. Bringing this to a close, I hope you've enjoyed this video and have learned something new. If you'd like to try Tana, I have an affiliate link below, so I do earn some revenue from that. It's one of the ways that you can support this channel. Thanks so much and let me know any feedback.